Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm bringing you this set in lavender and purple with um, the products I showed you that are both from Exotic. One is from the is number three from the Glow Collection and the other one is purple from the Anime Collection. Um, I am applying first the Glow and then the lavender. And then I will be using the purple glitter from the Anime Collection. And I will be using a lavender glitter mix I made that also glows and it glows in blue I will be showing you at the end of the video how that is it wasn't a perfect picture but I just wanted to show you that they glow so here on the ring finger we'll be putting the dark at the tip rather than the light as I did on the other nails and then we'll be putting the light glitter on top so it'll be like opposite of the other nails and this is a little mix I told you guys that glows. Really, really pretty mix. She super, super loved these nails. Um, and I was going to tell you guys what, why it was hurting me to talk on my last video. Um, so my husband had been begging me for six years to please get my Monroe back. More than six years. Because when I got pregnant from uh, my eight-year-old... I got so swollen, I just took it off because it was hurting me. Um, so it healed and I never did it again. And he had been bugging me to get it again and get it again. And um, last, well, yeah, last Saturday he finally convinced me and I did it. And um, they kind of reopened the one I already had. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to do it or not, but yeah. And um, we were out and about and I did have the Listerine with me and everything. But we were out and about, and he, um, and it was hot, so I don't know. Maybe that they got, oh, look, that nail came out crooked. I tried to fix it. I took it off and put it on twice on her, but she kept moving. This is my daughter's hand, by the way. So I told her, you know what? You can have a crooked nail because I'm done fixing your nail. You don't stop moving because she's a silly goose. But anyways, um... So we were, I don't know, the combination of it being a piercing, we were out in the heat and everything, it was like, it felt really swollen and frustrating. And for the next few days, it, I didn't even want to talk. He talked to me and I'd answer him by text or nod in my head and he's like, what? And I'm like, I don't want to talk, leave me alone, don't make me talk. And don't make me laugh because it would hurt to laugh and, um, and everything. So that's why I was having issues uh, with talking on the collaboration video and I apologize. I apologize for that. It still kind of feels weird in my mouth. Um, but I could talk a little more now without it bothering me. But it does feel like it digs in a little bit still. I don't know. It's because I'm swollen a little bit right now. So not the lip but me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, that's why I wasn't being able to talk on the last video. Um, he had gone to retouch his tattoo. And that's when he... He got me and convinced me. It's like inside a little Mexican mall. I'm like, oh, I want to go to distract myself and blah, blah, blah. So I went and I went in because I wanted to see him get his tattooed. And then that's when he convinced me. I should have never gone in there. But now it's done and now I got to deal with it. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, at first I was in, this is a new concept for me. So um, I usually teach myself things. So at first I wasn't getting it. Now I got it so that it would um, blend better to brush it up and then brush it down that way the purple and the lavender doesn't have a demarcation line so I kind of picked up on that and I started doing that on the rest of the nails as you can see and this is straight it's not crooked like the other one because she's finally stopped moving on me so yeah that's what um that's um how I'm doing her set I ran out of words you guys I kind of drew a blank I'm sorry I'm still having a few thyroid issues. <laughs> so, um, I finished applying the color. Sorry, this thing got on my nerves. And now I'm going to encapsulate. I'm, um, I try to encapsulate with one bead as best I can. When I can, if not, I just go ahead and do two. Just because I don't want, um, uh, I feel like when I try and do it with one bead, I don't have as much excess, um, acrylic on the nail. It's more, you know, encapsulating and not making a big old bulky nail. And that's how I like to do it. So, yeah. So I'll let you enjoy more of the video and I'll talk to you in a little bit.
So here I'm finishing up uh, drilling or uh, buffing around the cuticle. As you see, I went over a little, I over drilled right there. So I just got some purple acrylic. I didn't do it on the camera. I got some purple acrylic and just did like a uh, polish layer on it. And I just left it alone. Um, and then I'm cleaning the nails, of course. And I'm going to add a primer around the edges on the accent nail. I do add primer on most of the nail because I'm going to be adding rhinestones um, on there and an alloy. And I feel like it adheres better when I use primer. This time I'll be using the 5 second glue that they sell at Sally's. Oh, this thing is pinching me. And, um, and yeah, these are uh, crystals. They're not like name brand like Swarovski's or Brazil's or anything. They are crystals though. They do last a super long time. I believe I bought, I think they were 1,144 or something um, from Berenice from Exotic Nails and um, for $25 and they shine the whole time you're wearing them. Like they don't lose their shine, they don't lose their color, they're really, really pretty crystals. Um, I love them so if you guys are interested I'll put her link down below. Any of the pers people who sell Exotic sell these uh, crystals, they're really, really nice. So you could see I did glue that little heart alloy. She's really simple. She's not an extravagant person. So any art I do on her, it's really, really simple. Um, so she's just, that's just her. I use this um, finish gel or top coat gel, but because my son spilled um, my exotic nail gel, I cried. And I needed to, um, I needed gel to do her nails, um, or my nails actually, because I was going to do my nails, I was soaking mine off and stuff when my daughter's like, mom, can you do my nails? So I stopped what I was doing and did her nails. Um, but I feel like it's kind of bulky and, um, I don't know if it was the way I applied it or what, but the shine seems to go dull a little bit after like. She washes her hands and stuff. I don't know if it's me or it is the gel, but um, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. And then like, it's really, really thick. So um, it kind of leaves a little, uh, little indentations on the nail if you do it too thick. I try to do it as thin as I can, but yeah. Well, there you go, ladies. That's the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you all for watching. God bless you bunches and bunches. Hugs, kisses, and squeezes. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.